As the city of Sacramento looks for an interim council member to represent North Sacramento. In this district, every time a business opens, it closes because of theft. So people lose their jobs. Many residents are unaware of the recent seat vacancy and what this means. We haven't seen investment in a long time. We haven't seen uh, the hope that we need restored in a long time. KCRA reached out to candidates seeking to be the next council member for District 2 about the lack of interest among residents. Candidate Alicia Bloodsoe says residents have felt ignored for a long time. They feel like they're going to put anybody in there. Well, who they want to put in there. That's why they're not interested. And then they're not interested because of the previous the things that have gone on. Despite a lack of information, the city of Sacramento released an application for anyone interested in becoming an interim council member. This position is temporary as the District 2 seat is up for election in March, with a winner expected to be sworn in by the end of the year. Candidate Stephen Walton told KCRA that the disengagement could be turned around. Well, we've been willfully neglected here for decades. I'm 42 years old. And uh, at the corner of Grand and Marysville sit two empty lots that have been empty since I was around eight years old. So we can talk about lack of investment, uh, lack of uh, 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 willful neglect and lack of interest to even just the basic core services here like park maintenance, or like potholes, like street lights out. That's why people are disengaged. Maricela de la Cruz, Case Hearing 3 News. District 2 has nine candidates on the March primary ballot. We reached out to all the candidates, but only heard back from two for this story. Now, if a candidate wins by more than 50% of the votes, the council plans to appoint that person immediately to the position. If there's no winner from the primary, the council will appoint an interim council member. The application period for that position is open until February 29th. Tonight, Sacramento regional transit crews are working to get a 